Hi there, it's Judith Ann Desjardins, currently in Ocean Beach, California, on a very surprise turn of events today. I have been reporting on happenings with COVID since it made its way to the U.S. in 2019 and changed everyone's lives with quarantines and mandatory stay-at-home rules. Um, countless number of people in the U.S. dying of COVID. And just when we thought in 2000, 22 that COVID was sort of out of the picture. I am reporting on this turn of events in my own life to let you know that COVID is still alive and flourishing in California despite people's views to the contrary. I came down to San Diego today to spend two nights with my son and his family, my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter was really looking forward to the trip, made time in my schedule from work to come down here. And as a precaution, they always take COVID tests on the day that I'm coming. And as far as they knew, they had passed the COVID tests were negative. And so I started driving down here and I got five minutes from their house when I got urgent calls from all of them saying that my daughter-in-law had been exposed two days ago to someone who was riding in her car that just now tested positive for COVID and actually had a husband at home with COVID and didn't bother to tell anyone about it. So all of a sudden I'm stranded in my car outside my son's home wondering what shall I do? There was one argument that said, well, they tested negative and they probably don't have COVID, so you could go ahead and at least spend one night. And as a pancreatic cancer survivor, that is 20 months cancer free, I was not too comfortable with that suggestion that I could just go ahead and take a chance that in fact they were negative. So I placed a call to my doctor's office in Santa Monica and he called me and he said, no, you cannot stay in that house or see your family because the quarantine, the incubation period for passing COVID is five days after exposure. And this was only day two when they were testing negative. So as much as I wanted to see them, I said, no, I can't do it. Um, I'm disappointed in what happened, that I can't be with my family. And they were kind enough to book me a room in this lovely little studio, uh, Airbnb in OB, Ocean Beach, that I have always loved visiting. And so I thought I'd show you this cute little room. There's a nice double bed. It's well decorated with a little skylight there. This attractive big chair with an ottoman, a TV, a window that opens, 
a little kitchenette in here with stools and a table. Rather tiny stove, but that's okay. Gas stove. Another view out the window. They have stocked it with glassware and cups and cute plates and mugs, some coffee and sugar, decoration on top. I happen to bring my favorite Cafe Vienna. I always travel with that, so I'm set for that. There's a cutting board a cute vintage microwave and the small refrigerator I've stocked with all the food I normally bring, bring anyway to stay on my uh, cancer-free uh, anti-cancer diet. So I have my fruit bowl, my oatmeal, a salad, avocado, bananas, prunes, walnuts, figs from my own tree, blue corn, cornbread that I made, and blueberries, and a smoothie that my husband made, and two bottles of water. So in fact, I have everything I need, and as the saying goes, God works in his mysterious ways his wonders to perform I was feeling like I needed some time by myself to rest and it's been given to me there's this cute little bathroom well appointed with nice decoration and carpet and a little emphasis on little tub. This looks like a Japanese businessman's hotel uh, bathtub that you would find in Tokyo. A wee tiny sink with everything I need. And I have brought all my own things for um, my own hygiene. Nice little toilet. So the bottom line here is that during COVID and during life in general, we have to be able to pivot and be flexible and change things as they appear. We don't know what's going to happen in our lives, especially with COVID. We do not want to catch it. I had a call from a cousin in Wyoming asking me to pray for her daughter in Texas who is at home by herself with COVID and I had just started praying for her this morning. Her daughters are being taken care of by her ex-husband and so I sent her some of my inspirational holistic healing videos to pass her time while she's quarantining and getting over COVID. So once again, I caution everybody around the world to be careful with COVID. There are many, many people who currently are contracting and spreading COVID. So I send my blessings. I'm gonna take a nice, little nap because I've been in my car all day, was trapped in my car eating my food until I got this place. I'm going to take a rest and I'm going to put on my workout shoes and outfit and head three blocks down to the beach and past the shops that I love to visit um, before it gets dark and I drive home tomorrow. My blessings. Well, here is a little spiritual gift, a sweet little songbird. I hear you out there. Thanks for the song, songbird. 
Blessings to everyone. Bye-bye.